times. Well, I was overly quantitative in things that I lost sight of the most important thing in life, which is relationships. Yeah. Relationships, talking like we're talking in relationships with, with a men's group, relationships in business. Like it was all business to me. It was all like making money. How can I fix your problem? And it wasn't like, hey, Carl, you know, how, how's your kids doing? Yeah. You know, like I completely missed that. And it, it, it wasn't until I started getting my men's group with my faith and my faith, you know, uh, I wrote this down earlier was that, you know, like you said, people need to start thinking a little bit different in a different pers perspective. And that's why we have these conversations that, you know, faith, everybody automatically goes to religion. I'm like, no, I wrote the book called the lost art of faith, not the uh lost art of religion. I was going to ask you about that. We're going to talk about that too. So keep going. So, so the thing is, is faith are the set of foundational principles by which you say you're going to live your life. Right. That's your faith, your faith. And it's not your mom's faith. It's not your pastor's faith. It's not your spouse's faith, which y'all should be sharing that faith. But the bottom line is it's your faith. You have to cultivate that faith. Now, when you cultivate that faith and the faith that I am, I'm a, I'm a Christian. So being a Christian, uh, what I've learned through my own faith is I have to have a, a vertical connection with my creator. So it's me and my creator, like uh, somebody created me. I, I did not manifest or create myself by everything that I know right. in 40, 42 years of being on planet earth. Some, somebody created me through birth. And if you just go backwards to where the population is diminished into whatever, something created the universe, everything. And so, yeah. so establishing a relationship with the most powerful thing in the universe, which I would consider to be my creator, whatever name people want to give it, I'm not concerned about what name it is. You know, I'm going to call yeah. it, it the default for me is just God. Cause it's just easy. Yeah. So I have a relationship with God, which to me, since I didn't have a father, you know, he's been my heavenly father. Like I've had guides and I've had things guide me in life where I really didn't understand where that came from. Cause it didn't come from a dad. Cause then I have a dad there. Huh. And you know, my heavenly, like the way I look at God is my heavenly father. He's, uh, he's looking out for me. Mm -hmm. He's, he's moving things and doing stuff and there's his part, there's my part and stuff like that. But you know, when I sat down and said, okay, look, I need to structure my faith, my belief systems, and my principles. I need to, I need to build that foundation because everything else that I'm going to build in life is going to be based on that foundation, which is me. And so I needed to build that with inside of me. And, and if I said that these are my beliefs and these are my principles and they're all good things for me and they're all good things for all the people around me, then um, I got to start doing them instead of just yeah. knowing them and reading you know, scriptures and things like that I actually have to start manifesting the actions that, so when I analyze a lot of faith and a lot of religion, there's people that go through the motions, but they, they don't carry out their faith, uh, the higher priorities in their faith. A lot of times, because it's difficult or hard, they shy away from their own faith and their own religion because it's too damn hard. I'm like, well then quit saying that you're that because you're not being that right. <laughs> it's very hypocritical. I mean, Honestly, Christians, in my opinion, are the, the, some of the biggest hypocrites on, on planet Earth. And I can only say that because I used to be one of them. I used to be like, hey, I'm a good guy. I'm a Christian. But when I would be tested, when I would be tested on my faith, I would make a, an excuse that's acceptable to society of why I didn't do it. Right. Like, why didn't you help that guy? Or why didn't you do this? Or why didn't you do that? Well, I'd find some kind of convenient excuse why I didn't do it. And I finally said, you know what? That's not the person. That's not the human. That's not the man I want to be. So I changed all that. And is, is that where the book came from? Like, was it after the divorce? And like, how did that, how did it manifest itself? I mean, I've written two books and I know that it's not an easy thing to do. So it's like, I mean, you got to really want to write a book if you're going to get in there. So what, what, how'd that come, how'd that come about? 